I peed myself. Um, have you ever kissed someone? Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your Becca I hope you guys are doing well. So we're gonna make some Cajun Alfredo pasta and answer some few questions. Let's get into it. But first, let we're gonna need a drink. Yes. Um First question What university do you wanna go to and why? Um I really wanna go to like somewhere kind of far like far enough where like maybe during the long weekends i can still come back home and visit my mom but not far enough where my mom can like just randomly come to my res and be like hey hey you know this is dry this is very dry i'm gonna add water i'm gonna add some water because it is very dry next question are we ever gonna get a house tour no this is too sticky I'm gonna add some more flour actually. Um not a house tour, but definitely, definitely a room tour sometime. Sometime, somewhere. I don't I don't wanna make promises and then I don't do them. Don't look at it like this, ne. You have to need it for like 10 minutes for it to like actually start looking like um pasta dough. So you gotta put sweat and tears into it you do gotta... you ever get hurt if someone doesn't like your videos no not really because obviously i'm not everyone's favorite and not everybody likes watching vlogs or watch um not everybody likes um people cooking so i try not to let it get to me because at the end of the day i'm doing it for the people who do like my videos and the people who do watch my videos that's who i'm doing it for and i'm doing it for myself because Vlogging is fun. And you're probably wondering, Kangi, if vlogging is so fun, why haven't you been doing it in a while? That's because I've been very busy and very lazy. But that's gonna stop because I'm gonna try and post more often. And try to be more consistent because some people think that like I just stopped vlogging in total. What? In total. Overall. But no, I, I just took a little bit break um because I've been busy. A lot of things going on. I'm in grade 11, you know, got things to do, things to study for. I'm a busy girl. I'm a busy girl. What's the most embarrassing thing that's happened to you at school? Um, number one, this was in primary school. I peed myself. <gasps> Backstory. Basically, what happened was I was in Rivi and we were practicing on like Saturdays and stuff. So I came one day came with my sister we were practicing in front of we, there was a bunch of us on stage and so the choreographer i'm like hey can i please go to the bathroom can i please go pee she's like nope we nobody's going to the bathroom until we get this right you can go to the bathroom after mind you i have a very small bladder i'm not very good at holding in my pee i've never been good at holding in my pee so we're dancing we're busting the moves jiggy jiggy there is something different dripping down my leg what is it you may ask it's pee it's piss it's urine i pissed my pants in front of everybody on that stage well i guess i'll just piss on the floor i was very embarrassed i don't know who cleaned it up because it was not me because she dismissed me she said go get out I felt so bad i thought i mean obviously everyone was looking at me but you could feel their judging little eyes on me and because i have a small bladder i have a small bladder like i have a small hey let me test this Wait, no. mm. how does it test sweet um have you ever kissed someone hey nah. hey nah. No, I have not. I have never had my first kiss and 
Come and kiss me before I go to the heaven. Please. Come and kiss me before I die. No, no, I've never had my first kiss. Um, yeah, that's all I can say. Have you ever sex? Go and help me. No, I have not had sex. I'm obviously, because I've never had a first kiss, so I've never had sex either. And I'm not planning to have sex anytime soon. Gotta wait till marriage, kids. Marriage. Oh, actually, before the next question, this looks pretty good. Woo! This looks like a very nice salad, though. I don't know if Izolinga na Because they are. They are big bags, like they are serious big bags. Yeah, this is not enough. I'm gonna make more off camera. Okay, so I made another door off camera and I wrapped them and I'm gonna let them sit for about 30 minutes and then we're gonna start with our chicken and sauce. Let's answer a few more questions. What's the wildest rumor you've ever heard about yourself? I've never heard a rumor about myself. I don't really do crazy things, so nothing. If you could change one thing about your past, would it be a lot, a lot? I'm an overthinker. I literally overthink everything, everything I said, everything I do. So I would probably change a lot of things because I say a lot of stupid things and do a lot of stupid things. I don't know, but some things happen for a reason. Some things. We're for a reason, but I probably just like changed some things that I did that I should probably shouldn't have done. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? I would live in actually somewhere in the island. I would love to live um like one of those islands, like the Caribbean, you know, somewhere there. Like I would love to live in an island. It's always warm. Um, you live near the beach. It's beautiful scenery. Ah, yeah, somewhere by the beach, somewhere by the island. Yeah, Hawaii. Yeah, Hawaii. How's Grade 11 going for you so far? It's going. It's going fast. Hey, like this year has actually gone very fast. Grade 11 has gone very fast. That's what I can tell you. Anyways, next question. What's the most important? What, oh, what are the most important things for you in a relationship? Honesty, trust, gotta be God fearing, and yeah, I don't like, I don't think I have a type, but I just have to find you attractive and you have to vibe and you have to make me shy because if you don't make me shy, then what's the point? Like, I gotta be nervous when I speak to you, but yeah. Honestly, trust. Oh, personality. Obviously, personality. Like, you gotta have a nice personality that complements mine. Like, I talk a lot. Um, I'm very weird. And I make bad jokes. So, yeah, you gotta match my vibe. Match my freak. And I'll match your vibe. And match your freak. Yeah. But that's enough questions for now. Body tea is body tea. Body is tea. Body is tea. But that was not very cute. That was not very similar. Why is the car beeping? Anyways, this phone is like, I'm gonna stop recording. While she finishes the whole video, I'm gonna stop recording. 
that's not very cutesy. That's not very demure. But anyways, I'm gonna finish it. What is the meaning behind your username? There is no meaning. I don't even lie to y'all. There is no meaning. It's just your bae came to there because I'm your bae. My name's Fancy Lair. And it's your bae gang and Sailor Air. You know? Not that serious. Not that deep. That's all I got. Homie, that's all I got. Your bae can see it because I'm your bae can see it. Like, and it's like, it's the handle for all my other social media platforms. So you should go follow my Instagram and my TikTok. Yeah. Can you share an interesting fact about your personality? I don't know if it's interesting or not, but I'm very random. Like, I'm very random. Like, I would, I'm, I randomly cry, randomly laugh, do the most random things at the most random times. Like, I'm very random. And some people might think it's a little weird. Some people think it's funny. I think it's funny. Some people don't think, some people don't think that so yeah I'm just random. I'm very random. Yeah. What's your idea of a perfect date? Good question actually. Um oh first you have to ask me nicely, obviously, right? Like I knew you was the only season. You you can't come on empty handed, no man. No. You must come like I uh, like I'm not materialistic or anything, but like well it wasn't something like a lollipop, a card, a handwritten note. Uh, not a note actually, but also his face, have guts, have courage, have it's being deep, you know? Like like oh let's go on a day on Saturday, be ready by seven PM and I'm like, oh, okay. Okay. You must be assertive, okay? Okay, my work, okay. And then you take me out painting, right? You take me painting. We go like, we can paint a canvas or we can go paint pottery because you know, I love tea. So obviously you guys want a like nice customized mug. So we go, go painting, after painting, go to the movies. Cause you know, I really want to watch it set out. So we go and we watch Inside Out. Of the Inside Out, we go to a nice restaurant or some nice food. Oh, we're laughing at dinner. The conversation is flowing. Ha 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 ha. On my on my um, I'm on my second mocktail. Like oh, let's split the bill. Like nah, baby, I got this. And like oh, he's a gentleman. Oh my gosh. But I was obviously like pay for my drinks because you know I'm not broke. I'm not broke, but you pay for my food, I'll pay for my drinks, but I'm not broke. That's the point of the story here. That's not the point of the story here, but the point is, see, I have a few days after eating, we're gonna go sit on top of a car or the roof, I don't know whose roof, but a roof, and gonna watch the stars, watch the moon, watch each other. Like be cute, be all romantic. Like it's get a movie. Like we're in a movie. Like you can't hear anyone. You can't. Like you. I just hear your voice and everything. Oh my gosh, that's what I want. Actually, that's my dream of a perfect date. Guys, that would be so nice, so romantic. Mm. Like I'm giving you guys the blueprint here. Yeah. I don't know what y'all want from me. This is the blueprint. Especially the stargazing one is a must. Everything else you like, you can customize there, but the stargazing must, like, must go stargazing. Next question. Next question. Um, when was the last time you cried and why? I probably cried this week because Rivenze, not probably, I did. I was crying because Rivenze was not giving me enough attention. If you guys don't know, Rivenze is my best friend. But she's not giving me enough attention. Like I was talking about something, probably something stupid, but but she was not giving me enough attention. And so I started crying because that hurt my feelings. And 
Oh my god, it's so rude. Like I can say, if you're watching, that was very rude. That was very not cool. And not Zamir and not cutesy. You need to be able to be more mindful of why you're my best friend. Be more mindful, please. You must fix your behavior. Fix my behavior? You're being a ghetto hit red. Leave. I'm being serious. Please leave. Until you fix your behavior. Can you leave? Until I fix my behavior. Leave. Go. Leave. leave. Hey. This is my pet show. Leave. You know, that was the last time I cried. And why? What's your favorite food? Um, sushi. I love sushi. If you want to give me food, give me sushi or a burger. I love burgers too, but sushi. I love sushi. Um, what's your favorite season and why? I love, I, I don't love winter. I only like winter out of all the other ones is because you can like, even though it's cold, you can make yourself warm. Like you can make yourself warm. Get a heater, get an electric blanket, get a bunch of blankets. Like you can make yourself warm. Like you can mark a plan but the problem with summer is summer is hot you go in the pool it's hot you open the freezer like you're still hot you wear you wear nothing you're hot like you're always gonna be hot and there's so many bugs in summer like mosquitoes there's bugs everywhere you look there's flies flies i hate flies and i hate mosquitoes oh my god i just hate bugs i just hate bugs in general so that's why i dislike summer the most and the sweating like i don't like sweating i hate sweating but in summer and i'm there with my skirts and my stockings and my jersey because i love wearing long sleeve i love wearing long sleeve jerseys long sleeve shirts so now i get hot easy and fast and it's summer is like you're gonna take off your jersey okay now you're not being mindful of the weather like i don't like being controlled okay and especially not by the weather like imagine being controlled by the weather but oh i hate summer how long does it take you to get ready in the morning it takes me 5.5 hours i'm joking it takes me one hour and a half because it's very hard to get out of bed like it's just so hard to get out of bed like me i just snooze 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 but at some point i had an alarm for like every 15 minutes because like i hear my alarm eh? i just ignore it like I ignore it and then my far my alarm has been snoozing since from four now it's six and my transport is coming at twenty past seven and I'm still in my bed still going back to sleep. That's why it took me so long. But yeah. And every time I'm late, but on most days I don't eat breakfast, but like every time I'm late, I can't have breakfast, I can't make lunch, I get so angry. Sometimes I can't even make my morning tea. I I hate being late, but I'm always late, hey? I need to change that. What's your type? You're my type? I'm joking. My type, I don't really think I have a type, but I do have some requirements. Like, you have to be taller than me. Because I'm very short. I'm like five foot. I'm five foot, so you need to be taller than me. Um, I have to find you attractive. You got, to, got to be cute. You gotta be cute, man. Um, I don't have a race preference, but yeah, and it's be clean, it's be Christian. Yeah, yeah, that's all I learned. That's all I learned. Yeah, yeah, that's all. What's your favorite color? Pink. Pink is my favorite color. I love pink. I have a pink pencil case, pink bag. My room is pink, a very bright pink. Um, and last question, do you want a tattoo? If yes, what and where? First tattoo would probably like be something here about my shoulder, probably my, my favorite Bible verse, which is John 3, verse 16. And then my, the rest of my back, probably something big, like something big, something crazy not crazy but like something big and oh i love red tattoos maybe it's gonna be a red tattoo but i the healing process i looks a little bit funky eh? i feel like it would give me trauma or like it would, it would just make me very anxious so i don't know maybe an amount tattoo but something probably something very colorful and something very big 
definitely on my back probably start with flowers just start small start with a cross probably a cross here definitely do a cross here but yeah that's all i got for you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys come back for more hope you guys share repost like tell your mama tell your brother tell your sister tell your uncle tell your cousin tell the lady at school tell everybody and i'll see you guys next time i love you guys and i hope you guys love me too Life love you guys did i emphasize that i'm gonna emphasize that i love you